Welcome to Unboxing the Game. I'm Laura, Marketing Manager for CDFI, and this is where I bring you the latest announcements and updates of projects that we will be launching. This year, we're starting off strong, and I'm thrilled to announce an exciting IGO from one of our incubated projects and our first game of 2023, Koakuma. Koakuma means little devil in Japanese. It symbolizes mystery and playfulness. It's how and why Koakuma was built. Let's take a look at the trailer to show exactly why you should be excited about this role-playing Web3 game and the IGO coming later this month. Koakuma is an MMO ARPG Web3 game built on the Polygon and Binance Smart Chain, providing a seamless gaming experience with close to zero gas fees and fast transaction speeds. It features graphics inspired by classic games like Gigantic, World of Warcraft and Diablo. Koakuma is packed with immersive combat mechanics set in a graphics intensive metaverse. The Gamify 2.0 project is built for users from all around the world to fight epic battles using specially designed NFTs to receive tokens and NFT rewards. Players travel through the Koakuma meta world acting as witches, collecting any of the 720 plus unique types of equipment, skill ruins and legendary hero skins in the game. Now let's take a deeper look at the storyline and the gameplay. One day, a massive meteorite hit the Earth's surface and a collision caused the Earth's crust to move and the world map began to split into pieces. The heat from the collision caused a downpour of rain which lasted for 100 days. The rain nourished the arid land and life started emerging from plants, creatures and then civilization. The game is based in the vast medieval fantasy land of Laria where each location has its own unique geology with different climates and cultures, which creates a varied socio-political difference between its inhabitants. Players fight in epic battles to protect their land and to take over more territories. They act as a witcher in the game, which will acquire various digital assets as they proceed through the Koakuma meta world. The game is unique with various features that will ensure long-term gameplay participation with legendary equipment, mysterious dungeons, with ancient treasure discoveries and challenges throughout the game. Fighting in battles is the mean to obtaining skills, weapons and power that are crucial for survival. Now let me introduce you to some of the characters. Players can choose from one of the many characters such as the mighty Grain with a giant sword. Grain grew up on the plains and was an excellent warrior by nature. After a misfortune in his tribe, he threw himself into the breach to fight to protect his hometown. Then there's the graceful Huntress Evike, who traverses the forest, fresh and elegant in appearance. Calm as water, Evike has intellectual perspective and is cool as ice on the battlefield. And let's not forget the evil monsters that live in dungeons that you would need to fight and defeat. Koakuma also has its very own collection of NFTs. All in-game items in NFTs are owned by the players and are tradable in the Koakuma auction house and on exchanges. They come in the form of roles, equipment materials, fossils, character skins, animations, special effects and more. There are also special Lord Mask and Lord Tiara NFTs which can be purchased using their token KKMA. Now let's take a closer look at the team behind the game. The 20 plus high quality team members at Koakuma are located across China, the Philippines and Vietnam and have over 10 years of RPG gaming development experience and backgrounds in tier 1 gaming companies. 
including NetEase and ByteDance. The team includes 2D artists, 3D artists, modelers, musicians, special effects artists, action artists, programmers and editors who are all working tirelessly to bring players a high quality gaming experience. Looking forward to what's on Kowakuma's roadmap, there are still so many features to come following the IGO. With the beta version 2 now in full flight, the alpha is set to be released in Q1 of this year. Other features to expect in 2023 include Kowakuma Marketplace, launch of the KKMA token with staking functionality, KKMA staking, more characters and monsters, and the launch of the BOD token to name but a few. So make sure you follow their socials and stay up to date with their advancements. With regards to the tokenomics, the Kowakuma token KKMA will be the game's primary in-game currency. It will be used for payment upgrades, forging enhancements, smelting skill ruins, marketplace purchases and more. KKMA will eventually become deflationary when the Kowakuma treasury buys and burns tokens, making it naturally deflationary as the ecosystem grows. The token will also act as a governance token where holders will be able to vote on the future of the Kowakuma metaverse in the upcoming DAO. This will be the start of the game's shift to a fully decentralized online game. Soon, users will also be able to stake their KKMA tokens to receive in-game rewards, which will subsequently decrease the circulating supply, impacting the token's price. To learn more about Kowakuma, including their roadmap and tokenomics, and to keep up to date with their latest news, follow them on all their socials, which can be found in the description below. So the question is, do you have what it takes to fight for Laria against the forces of evil? Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the IGO day. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our socials to keep up to date on the exciting projects we will be launching next.